Hello guys, my name is Daniel and in this short video we will compare the performance of both programs Aurora 2019 and Affinity Photo 1.6.7 when merging HDR photos. To give you a short overview of which system we are using, we are using a 2017 5K iMac 27 inch uh, with 3.4 GHz Intel Core i5. Uh, it features 8 GB of 2400 MHz um, RAM and it has a uh, graphic chip Radeon Pro 570 with 4 GB of RAM. What is the test situation? We will test Aurora 2019 and Affinity Photo 1.6.7 um, in a situation where the other program is always closed so that no resources get used in the background. The only thing I have opened now is the activity monitor here. Um, and I have prepared uh, uh, five HDR files and um, we will now test how long it takes from telling the program to start merging HDR photos until we are able to edit them. Uh, let's start with Affinity Photo now. So, I guess the program has completely started now. And now I'll tell the system to have a new HDR merge. So I will add the photos that are on my desktop. I'll select all of them. And I say, okay, um, you should uh, eliminate ghost pictures from movements uh, in the uh, subject of the image. And uh, everything else I will uh, keep at defaults. So noise reduction, for example. So, okay, um, let's start. Everything was aligned and now it starts the HDR combination. According to the activity monitor, it uses 350% of CPU at the moment. It's a strange uh, percentage, but it comes from uh, multi-cores. So now there is the noise reduction. We are not yet able to use the interface. Now it's uh, doing tone mapping. So, and now we would be ready to use the interface. So now I have closed Affinity Photo, nothing is opened except the activity monitoring and let's start with Aurora HDR 2019. I guess the program has completely started up now, so I will say open a picture. We will also go to the HDR files I have used before and I'll say open. Now I get a dialog um, and I will say automatic alignment of the subject as I have this as a default with Affinity Photo. And I will also say that the system should reduce uh, ghost images and I will not uh, go for a reference image. I will leave it at the default which is the standard um, exposure um, image with 0. Uh, point zero steps. It's a standard one. So, okay, I'll click and we'll start the clock. Images are loaded now. We are using 260% of CPU at the moment. To 
240. The system tries to identify the scenery, which I guess is due to the uh, AI component of that program. It's, it's trying to identify objects in the subject of the image. Final optimizations now. And there we are, the whole interface is loaded. Um, Aurora HDR 2019 is done. So if we now have a look at the numbers, then I think we have a clear winner. Aurora HDR is with uh, 52 seconds compared to 88 seconds of Affinity Photo, close to 40% quicker than Affinity Photo when it comes to merging HDR photos. And um, that's one of the reasons why I changed from Affinity Photo HDR merging uh, to Aurora HDR 2019 for HDR, because it's just very quick. Um, you can imagine this uh, Mac is really capable of handling a lot of tasks at the same time. It's really quick. It has an i5 processor. Um, but when I'm traveling and I have my MacBook with me, which is um, not so not so fast as this one, when you are waiting a lot of a lot of time in front of a in front of a PC uh, for your program uh, to merge the HDR, so I changed to Aurora HDR because it saves me forty percent of my time. Um, don't get me wrong, I really like Affinity Photo. I think it's the best Photoshop alternative you can get on the market. And um, I love it for everything related to image manipulating, like transforming, um, touching and, and uh, manipulating images. It's really a great piece of software, but when it comes to HDR, it's, uh, in my opinion, too slow. And this is what we saw here. So um, in the video description and in the first comment, you can find links to both softwares, to Affinity Photo for image manipulating tasks and of course to Aurora HDR 2019 uh, for HDR editing. Yes, I hope this gave you a little bit impression of how both systems and both programs work and uh, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button to my channel.